Bonjour. Franklin County Boulder County Commission, last session. Commissioner Jones, would you lead us in the pledge and I mean, prayer and the pledge, please, sir? Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for being with us here in this place. We ask you to give us discretion and understanding today. Every decision we make, not just for today, but for every tomorrow that you will give us here in Franklin County. We especially remember the residents of Puerto Rico today, God, that you would be with them. Give them courage in what they're facing and their uncertainty. Father, we thank you for staying the hand of the earthquake. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <coughs> Like allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Good morning. Next on the agenda will be approval of the minutes. Second. Second. I got a motion on the floor by Commissioner Masses, second by Commissioner Jones. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? That passed unanimous. Next on the agenda will be payments of the county bills. So moved. Move. Second. Got motion on the floor by Commissioner Jones, second by Commissioner Masses. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? That passed unanimous. Public comments? Come on. <coughs> Good morning. For the record, my name is Donna Butterfield. Good morning. A couple of meetings ago, Commissioner Lockley said no one on the board knows anything about health care or how to run a hospital, with the exception of Commissioner Bolt. He's right. It's my understanding that on New Year's Eve at midnight, the contract for Weems radiology department was to expire. That meant that on January the 1st at 12.01 a.m., no one from radiology would be at work. An ER department that can't take an x-ray is an ER department ready to be shut down and major medical liability lawsuits against this board could have occurred. At the last minute, the contract was extended for 30 days. I have two proposals. Please invite Ascension Sacred Heart into our community to provide health care in a fiscally responsible way and to prevent dangerous situations like this from happening. Quality health care from a successful hospital corporation is what Franklin County citizens want. I also suggest that if you really want to help the citizens of this county and maintain employment numbers, have a qualified provider come in and lease to them Weems as a nursing home. What a service to Franklin County residents to have that vital health care service locally. Make a local nursing home a reality and this board will always be remembered as heroes. Can you imagine what you would have in Apalachicola? You'd have a emergency room facility. You'd have two doctor's offices. You'd have a large rehab facility and a nursing home. I just think that you all ought to choose the role of heroes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Public comment. Good morning, Commissioners. Alan Pfeiffer, Concerned Citizens, Franklin County. Happy New Year to you all. And I, I, I pray that uh, all of you have success and health in the new year. Trust and transparency. Trust is the quality of knowing that while you may not like the answer, no one is playing games with the truth. Transparency is the quality of not hiding the truth when asked. Honesty. No one here on this board, or Michael, Alan, Fonda, you, you name it, None of these people I have dealt with in county government has ever lied to my face or tried to completely deceive me. I've had good relationships with virtually everybody here. Sometimes we don't agree, that's okay. I do not have that confidence with the hospital board or its CEO anymore. 
When I have asked uh, questions at the hospital board meetings, I was told this was not the appropriate place. Put it in writing. Yesterday, when I put something in writing, I was told to come and ask, it, ask at the hospital board meeting for my answer. Sometimes when you don't like what the answer might be, you just don't want to give it. And that's a form of deceit. The truth is there is no right place to ask. New Year's Eve, the hospital was almost forced to close. I didn't coordinate with this lady right here due to the, an expiring outside radiology contract. At the last minute, it was extended 30 days. I am not positive, but the Weems CEO was not forthcoming about this. I know there's at least one and possibly two Weems board members wanting to jump ship because numbers are high, numbers are being played with, and decisions are being preordained instead of it being fact-based. There's a, there's a level of intimidation in your own hospital board. Let's start off the year right with truth and transparency. Your public trust is eroding. All of us want the same thing. We want prosperity for our neighbors, for our families, for the people of Franklin County at large. Make good decisions. Help us all move forward in 2020, yeah, 2020, with a modern, effective health care system. We can't do it internal, internally. Thank you so much for hearing me this morning. Good day. You're welcome. Thank you. <coughs> Public comments. Public comment. Next on the agenda will be Department Director. Mr. Howard Neighbor, Superintendent of Public Works. Good morning, Commissioners. How y'all doing? Good morning. Hope all y'all had a good Christmas and a happy new year. Same to you. And I got a couple items on uh, finally got a full crew back as of yesterday, so we'll be grade roads and, and policing up roads and all for the next couple of weeks. Got a lot of garbage scattered out through the county and a lot of bad roads, too, also from the rain and stuff we've been getting through the holidays. So. And also on St. George Island, we'll be cutting the trails out that we got that we did last year. We also, within the next couple of weeks, we'll take care of that, too. So. That's good. And other than that, everything's good. good. Anybody got anything for Mr. Neighbor? Keep up the good work. Sir. Thank you. No, too. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. <clears throat> Next on the agenda be Solid Waste Director, Mr. Funda Davis. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Just uh, <clears throat> update you all on the meeting yesterday with the City of Caribbean, City of Appalachia, and the Sheriff Department of uh, Animal Control. Uh, just to let you know that things will remain the same as far as uh, patrolling, and I assured them that uh, we would, uh, you know, we in the process of hiring someone part-time to give that weekend coverage also. Uh, in the discussion, uh, uh, let me back up. Also, the sheriff agreed to have calls come through dispatch. So any calls, if it's after hours uh, during the day, if somebody called Franklin County Animal Control direct, they will in turn call sheriff department dispatch to have an office dispatch to the complaint. And if it, if it requires animal control, then we would come out. If not, they would address the issue themselves. Uh, City of Caribbean also left some questions uh, to be answered by Animal Control. As uh, I don't know what the board want me to do, just answer them or have Mr. Shuler look over before I answer. Mm -hmm. um, I have Mr. Shuler. Shuler, you won't need to look at that. Yeah. Oh. It with the board and the chairman's permission, I will get with Mr. Davis after the meeting uh, and meet with him and go over the list of questions and he and I will discuss it and come up with a plan of action, propose responses, and then if need be and necessary, we'll bring it back to this board for any decisions that need to be made. Okay, pleasure to move by giving him permission. So moved yeah. by Fonda, talk with the lawyer. Yeah. Second. I got a motion on floor by Commissioner Massey, second by Commissioner Burt. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Passing down. That's, that's all I have for the board right now. Anybody got anything for Mr. David? 
keep up the good work. Yeah, thank you. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you all. Thank you. Next on the agenda will be Ms. Pam Burnell, Emergency <coughs> Management. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I do not have any action items for the board. Okay. Anybody got anything for Ms. Burnell? Uh, how we is with the FEMA reimbursement? I uh, spoke to FEMA yesterday. Uh, they, their, our project manager has pushed everything he had forward. We're just uh, waiting on them. Okay. Sound good. Good. Great. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have a question. Ms. Pam, yeah. in the report you gave us about this kind of stuff, what is CRC project? What is that? Um, Jenny, can you answer that? I asked him I don't yesterday. Know about it's, alphabet it's, soup, it's I'm sorry. It's a cumulative resource center. It's actually FEMA center where they pull all the documentation together uh -huh. and push the different projects in. But that's okay. what CRC stands Okay, so it's in that step of them still yes, compiling that. the documents. Okay. Yes. Okay. Give me your name. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Jennifer Daniels. Thank you. <coughs> For the record. <laughs> Thank you. Anything else from Ms. Pam? Keep up the good work. Thank you. Next on the agenda will be the extension director office. Mr. Eric Love Spring. Good morning, Commissioners. Happy New Year. Happy um, New Year. I don't have any action items for you today in addition to just my standard report. Um, we are um, going to be doing part of a major move to get our things for out of the armory and over to the new building this Thursday, actually. Mr. Davis is helping me out with a few folks that he can send to help us get things downstairs there and on a trailer and over there to that building. So mm -hmm. we are setting up shop and still working on getting our internet and phone system set up over there. And sometime in January, we'll do a, an open house event for everybody. Good. So yeah, let us know about your open house. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody got anything else for uh, Mr. Lowe's brain? I, I have a question. Uh, Mr. Eric, I understand that y'all, you're, you're, I don't know if it was at the beginning of this year or the end of last year, but y'all already had a meeting of your board that meets there at the new building, correct? Yes. Yeah. I put well, together I enough tables comments. and chairs to do that. <laughs> we hosted our yeah. um, second com yeah. um, admission, our advisory committee meeting yeah. at the meeting, or yeah. the room actually there. So they could see what we've done. Yeah. Well, the Everybody advisory liked it. Com committee members I've spoke with said they really liked it. That's probably Mr. Penica. I know it was more no? than one. It was okay. more than one. <laughs> He's right but there he was next one door to you. Yeah. <laughs> Rex is our chairman um, going forward into 2020 for our com um, extension advisory committee. And um, he's doing a good job with us. Good. All right, Mr. Love Green. Um, <coughs> thank you, Commissioners. Thank you. Thank you. Keep up the good work. I'm gonna say I'm bid on me. We got our next on the agenda be RLP, RFO bid on Yeah, commissioners, good morning. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, these are the uh, seal bids um, that we'll open and read aloud uh, for construction of the uh, County Road 67 Tallahassee Street Sidewalk Improvement Project. It's about 11,558 linear feet of sidewalk construction on County Road 67, also known as Tallahassee Street in Carabell, Florida. After I open, it's just two bids. After I open two bids, we'd allow the amount. We're going to forward them to the engineer, the project engineer, for his review, and he will make a recommendation and send it back, and hopefully you can award it at the next meeting. All right? Okay. Uh, you should have a tally sheet in front of you. I saw Lori giving them out. Uh, the first one, if I'm looking from the outside of the packet, it says it's, I'm sorry, CDM con Contracting Incorporated. They're from Lake Butler, Florida. Michael, I don't have a tally sheet. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see here. Sorry about that. I have. Mm -hmm. This looks like there is a bid bond here, commissioners. Mm -hmm. I'll do my 
best Allen impression here. Search through all the papers. Go like my big. It's uh. $785,389.95. So I'll read the numbers to you. It's 785-389-95. 785-389-95. With bid bond, and there, there are no um, alternate alternative bids what for this project. Company name? They are CDM, oh, CDM contractors. CDM. CDM. Contracting Incorporated out of Lake Butler, Florida. Okay. Uh, this is North Florida Construction Incorporated, and they are out of, uh, check the envelope. The amount is 8264 Two zero even, eight hundred twenty-six thousand four hundred twenty dollars even. Attorney Schuler said that they do have a bid bond. Where are they from? Florida Construction. So with that, I just need the motion to forward it to the engineer for review. So moved. And recommendation. Second. Got a motion on flow by Commissioner Berg. Second by Commissioner Jones. All in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. All opposed? That passed unanimous. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. That's the first time I've seen an even bid since I've been on the board. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy. Huh? Yeah. Next on the agenda, or be the ship program, Miss Laura Spicer. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lori Spicer, Franklin County Ship Program. Um, for the Hurricane Housing Recovery Program, just to recap, the county has been gr granted disaster funds of slightly over $1.2 million through Florida Housing due to Hurricane Michael. Approximately half of the funds have been released to the county, which has enabled us to really move forward. We ran the ad in the August 29th issue of the Times. The application period ran for two weeks from October 1st through the 16th. We received 46 applications, which consist of seven houses, 35 mobile homes, three campers, and one renter. The ship inspector, Michael McWilliams, and, uh, and myself went to each of the mobile homes, took pictures, and assessed the damage. Priority was given to actual hurricane damage, special needs, and low to very low income applicants. At this point, we will definitely be able to assist at least 19 applicants, seven with house repairs, eight with new mobile homes, and four with mobile home repairs. The goal is to assist as many applicants as possible. Um, that's going to depend on how much we actually spend on the repairs and how much the new mobile homes are going to cost. I'm currently in the process of getting the applicants' paperwork in order and getting contractors involved in starting on the repairs. In the meantime, we're working on the bid package and advertisement for the new mobile homes. So that's mm -hmm. just an update on that. Mm -hmm. Do you Did have you, uh, were you able to, to talk to our company and see could they build all of them and give you a break on them? Um, that is next. That's the next thing. Okay. I have, we have to uh, run an ad, you know, for the bid process and put the package together. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to them and see how we can, if, you know, we get aid at one time. Yeah. If, I mean, how I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job, yeah. it's just a thought. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the plan. Any more questions on that? <coughs> Any more questions on uh, somebody? Yeah. Anybody? This is a good thing. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Um, and uh, just a update on the regular ship funds for uh, fiscal year last year, 1819 funds, we've been able to assist 31 applicants five with down payment assistance, eight with rehab and emergency repairs, 
and 18 with disaster funds, which were the $10,000 disaster grants. Um, we ran the ad for applications um, for this, this current year, 1920, this past September, and accepted applications in the, for the whole month of October. <clears throat> we received 12 applications for the rehabilitation and emergency repair programs. We should be able to assist all the applicants on the, on the list. Okay. Um, we also have funds for down payment assistance currently. Um, we do not have a deadline for that program and we'll have funds available till they're gone. That's all I have. So I guess they name not on that one. Sir? They name not on that, the other 12 of what you're talking No. Oh. Uh, no. That Anybody got anything else for? No, I'd just like to say, Lori, thank you for coming yeah. and giving us this report. Mm -hmm. It's good not only for us, it's also good for the public to hear sure. the good that's going on in our county. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Next on the agenda, she's not here. I know. I was just looking for her to send a message to see if she's away from what Okay, well, we can go down to the um, clerk of the court. Mm -hmm. I think Lori, was that a clerk of six? She didn't have a report for you. Okay. okay. Next on the agenda be Mr. Michael Maroon, County Coordinator Report. All right. Okay, Commissioner. Good morning again. My report starts on item, I'm sorry, page four. I'll start at item 10. At your December 3rd meeting, Mr. <coughs> Pierce presented an amendment that he sent to the Florida Department of Emergency Management regarding the loss of revenue at Weeds Memorial Hospital <coughs> due to Hurricane Michael. Staff received the FD, uh, we received the FDEM agreement allocating some $266,000 for Weems' loss of revenue claim for expenses. FDEM is asking that the county sign and return the agreement prior to January 17th as the state would like to pay these funds as expeditiously as possible. When last did you hear that? That's good. That the is. The state wants to pay you quick. Motion to approve. Second. Second. I got a motion on the floor by Commissioner Jones, second by two. Commissioner Bowden, Commissioner Parrish, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? That passed unanimous. At your last meeting? I'm sorry, Commissioner. Let's move Mike. To the next item. Mike. Before. Mr. Chairman, if I could just for the record, on that one grant, when the paperwork first came in on the grant for, for the hospital, that $226,000, the paperwork originally said that that money was to be used exclusively for capital improvements, and they, are, they the state, have been notified that this is a revenue replacement, not a capital program, so the, the paperwork's being amended to reflect that. Yeah. So Actually, they sent it. it we, got we do it. have it now. Yeah, we do have okay. it now. <coughs> Very good. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. That's good. Okay, item 11. At your last meeting, I was directed to have a meeting with the library director, which was the second meeting in his first 60 days, regarding, regarding ongoing complaints and problems received by commissioners and county staff about his treatment of library staff members, library program volunteers and patrons and other, and the continued neglect of his daily responsibilities as director. I met with Mr. Corey Bard on January 2nd to discuss these matters. Mr. Bard agreed that he needed to do a better job with his day-to-day -day responsibilities. However, he felt that any complaints about the way he treated staff, volunteers, and patrons had to be made up, I quote his words, because he got along with everyone he came in contact with here in the county. I reminded Mr. Bard that we, he was on a probationary period and could be dismissed by the board with or without cause. I further explained that based on the comments made by the board at the December 17th meeting, I wasn't sure how the board would react to my update of our meeting. I made an offer to Mr. Bard, allowing him to resign with a severance pay option if he thought this job was no longer a fit for him. Mr. Bard refused that offer. At the end of our meeting, I advised Mr. Bard that I would update the board on the results of the meeting. On Saturday, January 4th, at 4.26 p.m., I received the following message from Mr. Bard, and I, and I quote, just a warning, if I'm fired, I will build a legal team, interview the directors going back a decade, and present a case of an environment of intimidation, harassment, 
and I have the resources to file lawsuits for the rest of your life, end quote. I remind the board that Mr. Bard is slightly two months into his six month probation, slightly over two months into his six month probation period, and even though he has his master's in library science and work experience, based on his threat and his drastic reaction to our meeting, I believe improvement is unlikely. Although Mr. Bard is a pro probationary employee without a property interest in his employment, he has a liberty interest in his employment. If the board decides to take adverse employment action against Mr. Bard, he must be permitted at his request to appear before the board to tell his side of the story. All this is in coordination and conference with your labor attorney that you also directed me to do at the last meeting. Board, I'm sorry, sir. I'll, I'll, okay, go, I was going to read just Wait. that. Board Wait. action uh, to take a disciplinary action regarding Mr. Corey Bard's employment as the county director of library services. Pleasure to vote. Make a motion to dismiss Mr. Bird and also have it a letter of separation put in his file from our labor attorney. Second. I got a motion on the floor by Commissioner Mass. I make by Commissioner Jones. Second by Commissioner Massey. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Pass unanimous. Item 12, Commissioners. Timber Island Road. The county has received the Florida Department of Transportation signed agreement for the work on Timber Island Road. This $800,000 project includes repaving Timber Island Road from Highway 98 to the Carabell River and building guardrails on the Timber Island Bridge. Board authorization to start negotiation with this with the county's engineering firm, Dewberry Engineers, to design improvements for the project. So moved. Second. Got a motion on foot by Commissioner Master. Second by Commissioner Perry. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? I pass unanimous. Item 13. Pastor Walker, your Weems interim CEO, informed me that Weems was selected to participate in a technical assistance program with Texas A&M University. They will have representatives in the county on January 21st and 22nd to conduct a site visit at Weems. Those representatives would like to be on the January 21st meeting agenda to explain the grant and to do a brief presentation entitled The State of Rural Health Care. The Weems Board Chairman and the Interim CEO are both expected to be on the January 21st agenda to give an update and discuss the health care proposals. I so need moved. action. Mm -hmm. oh, I need action Second. to add. Yeah. I got a motion on full by Commissioner Burke. Second by Commissioner Jones. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Pass unanimous. That's a good thing. Can I go on? Okay. Yeah. Well, I thought Commissioner Bolt was going to say something. Ge Thank uh, you. Genesis Half Incorporated, the engineers for the County Road 30A project, has finalized a merger with Half Associates Incorporated. They would like the board to authorize a consent, a s consent assigning the county's contract with Genesis Half to Half Associates Incorporated. Attorney Shula will need to review the contract assignment agreement. I've included a progress report that's attached to the agenda pack packet from Half on the county's. Uh, Road 38 project, some of the work they've done thus far. So board action to authorize the chairman's signature on the contract assignment agreement assigning the county's contract from Genesis Health to Health Associates contingent on the county's the county attorney's review and approval. So moved. Second. Second. I got a motion on approval by Commissioner Perry, <laughs> second by two. Commissioner Jones and Commissioner Mass. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That pass unanimous. But the other items, 15 through 20, commissioners, are information items. Is there any of them you want me to read, or you want me to go through all of them? Are you, you guys, any questions? <coughs> well, all okay? I'm good with them, but, Mr. Chairman, I'm good with them, but I would like to mention to the rest of the, the commission, I'm sure they've seen it, but to make sure they realize that the uh, Tate's Hill management plan is included in those informational items. Yes. And it, well, I'll let you guys read it because we know we, everybody realize what we're reading it for and what we're looking for specifically in there. So that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's the end of my report, commissioners. And I see Angela's out in the audience now. So, uh, okay. What about the Eddie, I, I'm sorry. One more thing I'm going to, to uh, I didn't look at my, the back page I have here. There is going to be a um, uh, uh, press, uh, media release 
on the whole uh, the technical assistance grant and Texas A&M coming here for that. So you should see that here in circulation, social media, newspapers on the radio here shortly, probably starting today, hopefully, okay? And as soon as I get a copy, I have a copy of the draft, as soon as it's finalized, I'll send it to you in the email. So you have a copy of that too, okay? Thank you. Sounds like a good thing. Yeah. Yes, I think it's an excellent thing, Commissioner. Okay, next on the agenda will be Miss Angela Webster. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. Angela Webster, Capital Area Community Action Agency. Um, we received a call from the family at 579 Ridge Road requesting assistance with repairs to their home. The damages were caused by the Lime Walk fire. I was able to confirm from the list provided by the EOC that the vinyl siding was damaged and the family residing at the above named address does not meet the income criteria for the CDBG grant with Ms. Deborah Belcher. I've collected all the required documentation for proof of identity and proof of income to confirm the family is in fact ineligible due to income. The family informed me they were unable to arrange to have the home assessed as no local contractors were available. So I agreed to assist them with that. I reached out to Oxendine Construction. There was no answer. I left several messages, but never received a call back. Um, Greg Prickett Builders, I received that information from uh, one of the commissioners and there was no answer. The voicemail box was full and I was not able to leave a message for them. Polaronis Construction, I did in fact get to speak to him, but he told me with all he had going on, it would be the first of the year before he could. So when I shared this with Ms. Tress from EOC, she told me she had some work done by Budget Remodeling and Solutions out of Bay County. I reached out to that company and they were on the site within a week. They went in, they did the assessment for the outside damage. Um, the survivor informed the contractor that there was damage to the inside wall and the flooring. It appears that over the time, the damages have caused leakage. So the quote includes the cost to repair the outside damage as well as the inside wall and the flooring. Um, I have attached the estimate from Budget Remodeling and Solutions for a total of $4,063.64. They are asking for $2,000 down to start the job and then the remainder once the job is complete. I'm asking the board to approve use of the fire relief funds to pay for the cost to repair the damages to the vinyl siding at 579 Ridge Road as the survivors do not qualify for CDBG. So moved. Second. I got a motion on the floor by Commissioner Master, second by Commissioner Jones. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? That passed unanimous. Okay, do you gentlemen have any questions for me? Anybody got anything from this work? Keep up the good work. Yeah, thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Do, do, yeah, I got one question for you. Oh. Uh oh, you know. <laughs> Sorry, but what? Will that take care of just about all of them, or, or we yes. got some more on the list? I'm glad that you mentioned that. We have about seven, we have seven people left in campers. Okay. Five of those seven, their leases will expire this month and one of them next month. So is it possible for us to get approval for an extension for an additional six months until we get them into the permanent housing? That sounds good with me because they can't keep them, put them out. I mean, you got to right. have some more to go. Right. Need so a motion. Yeah. Second. That's fine. We just need to work with capital action area to make sure all that's done. But yeah, absolutely, you have that authority. Right. So move to do that. Okay, I got a motion on the floor by Commissioner Masters, second by Commissioner remaining shown the remaining campers. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? I pass unanimous. Mr. Thank Chairman. You. Yeah. Um, I, just a point of information. How does your agency coordinate with uh, Lori Schweitzer's agency in the SHIP program? It seems to be a lot of um, similarities in how money is distributed and helping other folks. Do you have? Can you educate me on those two differences? Is there I would say, Commissioner, they, she, they communicate more with Deborah Belcher in the CDBG program mm -hmm. than they do with Lori. Yes. Uh, with the SHIP program, there are specific rules and regs that they have to follow. Are different. They have yeah. less rules that they have to follow. I see. So, so I, 
I'll come and, to and there are other items I, I, you know we could sit down and talk about that I think okay. they're more in communication with Deborah than they are with, with Lori for sure. I'll come to similar though. Yeah. yeah they really yes, are. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, if, I, if I'm wrong, Angela, you could. No, you're correct. Yeah, yeah. And they're also, what Ms. Angela and we're doing in the county is specifically related to the fire. That's another point. Yeah, that's yes. true too. They're just managing that donated money for the fire, <coughs> which Ms. Belcher has gotten the money to, to help with housing for there. Yeah. So that's okay. why they communicate closer than with Lori. Lori, uh, that HHRP program is more about hurricane recovery. They didn't have any money to manage for that program. So. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Okay. Y'all doing a good job. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next on the agenda, be Mr. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, I have no first of the year report for the board, but I am present to answer any questions you may have. Okay. Anybody got anything for? Yeah. Commissioner comment. <coughs> oh, man. Mr. Chairman. Make a commissioner comment. Do, do we want to think about um, some strategy plans for Legislative Day in Tallahassee coming up at the end of the month? What, what would be our emphasis as commissioners, uh, those of us that are going, and some thoughts on that matter? Well, what, they, what we usually do is get together and ask, I mean, go up there and ask them. We're going begging for some money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no we, doubt. Yeah. That, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. okay. So we'll be planning to uh, make sure that Jason Schoff is expecting us and uh, yeah. Senator Monfort's expecting us and yeah. we go yeah, as a I team. Go we go as a team. Yeah, we're all going. Everyone else is going. Good. 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 Commissioner Bolt, if I may, the, our talking point should fall along the line of what we presented to them the legislative delegation meeting. Okay. Yeah. You know, these are our needs and there's what we're looking for and okay. should fall along those same lines. You're okay. going to back it up. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Going to plead. I'm glad we're all going too. Yes, sir. Yeah, they you know might get it, you might not. And, but. I, and I think what you might be heading to Commissioner you're asking for some talking points and some information to walk with. <laughs> yeah I'll do that because that fire suppression system for the armory? Yeah. I mean, if you guys don't want to do it, I'll go and go down on my both knees to beg because yeah. we really need to get that done, you yeah. know? Yeah. So the, commission, like the chairman that says, yeah, we got we to gotta beg. Mm -hmm. We got to get some money. You got to just tell them this. We ain't coming to the act. We coming to what we got to have. Yeah. We get, this I got to have. Yeah, yeah. It's a life safety <laughs> issue there. Along those lines, I think an important talking point for us about the armory could possibly be the fact that Visit Florida has committed to in April to doing a statewide conference here in Appalachia at the Armory. Yeah. Good point. For yeah. adventure tourism. So. Yeah, that's a good you know what I mean? There you go. Any more commission comment? Well, I want to wish everybody Franklin County, a happy new year. And 20 minutes to 10, meeting them. This is the shortest meeting I've Thank ever you. been here. Yeah. And let me say job, this to Mr. you. Chairman and let, let me say